a Format Painter shortcut in Word 2019-365. Hey everyone, Deborah here, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use Format Painter. So on my screen I've got three paragraphs. And in the first paragraph, there is something different than in the other two, which are just copies of that first paragraph. In this first paragraph, I've made some changes to a couple of the sentences here. The font has been changed in, in terms of its style, its color, and its size. So you've got these uh, these areas here that are just you know completely different than the rest of it. So let's say that you want to use this exact same look that's up here on other parts of the document. All right, well, the first thing you do is, for the basic way of using Format Painter, is to just click your mouse to place your flashing insertion point anywhere on the font that you want to copy. So I've got it just right here in the uh, purple cursive look. And so on the home ribbon here at the upper left, there is a clipboard group, and in the clipboard group is the uh, Format Painter icon. So, or button. You can click it to turn it on. And notice that as I roll my mouse into the text area, instead of a pointing arrow, it looks like a little paintbrush next to a capital I. And so that indicates that I have picked up the format from this font. So if I take this mouse very carefully and just touch another word with it, uh, let's say this word right here, and click once, it will absorb the same style that I picked up earlier. So it has the same size, color, shape, and style that I had picked up. So that's just one way of painting the format from one area to another. But notice that when I did that, when I single clicked, my uh, mouse capital I has lost the paintbrush. And so that means that the format painter only worked on that one word. So uh, let me just show you real quick I'm going to make sure that it's uh, the flashing insertion point is on the font that I want to copy from. I'm going to go back over here and click Format Painter one more time. There's my little paintbrush. And let's say instead of just a single word, I want to uh, apply that same formatting to this whole line. So I can click and drag across the line. It will pick up the formatting and place it, apply it to everything that I clicked and dragged. But what if you want to copy this formatting and you want to apply it to multiple areas of your document but not sequential areas. Let's say I want this look to be in the first line here and maybe in the last line down here. Well, I could do it with the single click method, just you know, make sure my insertion point is is uh, flashing on the you know the style that I want to copy from click the format painter once apply it where I want it to go then click it again and you know keep clicking it back and forth and back and forth but there's a a nice little shortcut you can do with format painter now your textbook talks about this very briefly in like one little paragraph or less at the top of page 48 in chapter 1 module 1 for your for your textbook so what I'm going to do is make sure first that the flashing insertion point is on the text that I want to copy from. But instead of single clicking the Format Painter, I can double click. So if I double click it, there's my little paintbrush. As I go through and apply this formatting, the paintbrush stays. In other words, the formatting stays picked up by the mouse. So I can now click on individual words if I want, uh, or a whole sentence if I want, or just a couple of words. Okay, so I can keep going and keep applying that style to any text that I want over and over and over again without having to double click or without having to go back to the format painter and keep clicking it. When I'm finished applying the style, I can do one of two things to get rid of this formatting that's stuck on my mouse. I can either go back up to the Format Painter button and click it to, un 
to unattach it or I can just press the escape key on my keyboard and that will also remove the formatting from my mouse. So now if I click anywhere the formatting is gone. And so I just wanted to show you that shortcut for Format Painter. Again, if you just want to use Format Painter once, single click on the Format Painter button. But if you want to use it intermittently throughout a document uh, for the same formatting, double click the Format Painter and then you can apply that formatting that it absorbed over multiple areas.